And that is our top story tonight. A woman behind bars for a DUI crash had killed her sister. It injured another passenger, and then she was live streaming it on social media. Good evening. I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. The car veered onto the shoulder of a road in Los Banos, southwest of Merced, killing the driver's sister and severely injuring another passenger. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is live in Stockton for us tonight with much more on this crash. Carlos. Hey, good evening to you, those two girls. They grew up here in Stockton. Neighbors say they had a lot of friends and say they're still shocked over this tragic incident that has now been seen all over the world. My first best friend ever. Friends are remembering 14 year old Jacqueline, a sweet and caring girl they tragically saw die on social media. Haven't seen her for three years. They were too upset to talk, but wanted to share this video of their best friend who grew up next door with her 18 year old sister, Obidulia Sanchez. She says, This is really sad. My own daughter can't even sleep at night thinking of her best friend who's now gone. The California Highway Patrol says Sanchez was under the influence of alcohol when she crashed. She was also streaming live on Instagram. The video shows her dancing and singing with Jacqueline and another 14 year old also in the car. She says, This is an incident that impacts all of us. Why did she have to die in that manner? To me, the video made it seem like she was intentionally trying to hurt her sister. According to CHP, Sanchez rolled the vehicle over and into a barbed wire fence. Both passengers did not have seatbelts on and were ejected. Jacqueline died on the scene while the camera was still live. Walisha Beatty Sherry, founder of the youth organization Fruitful Sherry, just hosted a youth rally where they talked about teens making responsible decisions like not drinking and driving. That young girl made such a poor choice and the effect, that, that breaks my heart. Teen drivers say the disturbing video is also a wake-up call on the ongoing struggle of distracted driving. I really not try to use my phone or I try my hardest to tell people to get off their phone. Now, the other 14-year-old girl in the vehicle was taken to an area hospital with major injuries. We're also told that 14-year-old Jacqueline was getting ready to celebrate a big event with her family this upcoming weekend. Just tragic all the way around. Carlos, yes. my goodness. Thanks so much for that live report.